uh, there's no reason, and I, with apologies to the bus drivers in the room, but a lot of stuff's changing. There's no reason you can't have a driverless bus. It sounds a little frightening, but we're gonna have to get used to a lot of frightening things if this driverless car utopia comes to pass. Um, and uh, if you've, I don't know if you've ever seen some of the videos of what it will be like when all cars are driverless and, and somehow they're just very close together and they're passing cyclists within three inches because of course it's all computerized. And, um, see, um, we'll see how that works. Technology and, is gonna save us. Remember well, that. Let's, Next let's, time you're rebooting uh, your computer. Let's remember about that because um, one, of, one of the things, you know, old literature scholars like me do is we've looked at, we've seen a lot of technology pitches over history, and I encourage you to go back at, always and read some of the literature from the 19-teens and 20s around the debates around the new technology then, which was the car. Um, Brian uh, Ladd's book, Autopia, is a nice place to start with this. There are a lot of good books about it. And the debate within was the thrill of what this was going to do for us and how wonderful it was going to be which is the tech pitch, always. And then these people over here saying, but, but wait a minute, these are like dreadfully dangerous and, and, and so on, and the process of the latter people being kind of shouted down. Now, it's a different debate now. You know, the pros and cons are different, but, um, and you know, driverless cars are gonna be great in all kinds of ways and they're gonna create a bunch of new problems, including the one Mark just described earlier about everybody just sending their car out to wander around creating apocalyptic traffic congestion. <laughs> Another form, by the way, of induced demand, which is if it's just Even too cheap. Yeah. Ask yourself, if right. you had that car, wouldn't you? Right. Wouldn't you send it out for Chinese? Why would you go? Right. <laughs> right? You're going you're gonna to have the app. The app car will tell the guy at the Chinese restaurant that it's there. He will walk out, put it in. There will be the, you know, cooler right there with a hot pad in it, it'll drive home and life will be good. And, and you're not gonna do that? And in the face of all of those tech pitches, somebody has to be stopping and saying, wait a minute, what will it be like when everyone does that? Imagine in 1920, if somebody had been listened to when they said, wait a minute, run the numbers, what is America like when everybody has one of these? How many roads will we need and what will that do to our city? Right, the conversation never happened. And, uh, and I think always those, that those of us who've been through that and, know, and you know, if you know some of that technological history, you get used, you, you start to learn the, that you know, the tech pitch will always be this will change your life, this will liberate you, this will be wonderful, and you always have to ask yes and what is the impact of everyone having one.